A couple years ago, I made a stool for my shop. It was inspired by David Marks's white oak bar stool from the first season of Woodworks. Though I'm not going to show how to make this stool from start to finish in this video, you can read an article on my website that goes into a little more detail. To shape this seat, I'm going to use the Arbitec Turboplane in my angle grinder. So let's get started. The seat on the bar stool starts out as a 16 inch square seat blank with four legs laminated into it. The first step to shape the seat is to center and trace the template onto the seat and remove the waste with the jigsaw. Next, I fix the template to the surface of the stool using hot melt glue. With the template face down at the router table, I use a pattern routing bit to remove the excess material and bring the shape flush with the template. The template is easily removed with a putty knife. Now, with a 3 quarter inch rounding over bit in the handheld router, I take an initial light pass to remove material and then a final pass to bring the bearing against the surface that was previously routed flat. I then wrap a strip of tape around the stool to mark where the round over ends on the side. Using a compass set at 1 inch, I then mark a boundary to designate the shaping location. This is where the fun begins. I use an angle grinder outfitted with the Arbortech Turboplane and sculpt the waste from the edges of the seat. A link to this tool will be in the description below. Be sure to keep the grinder positioned properly as you move around the corners. If you keep it fixed in the same position while shaping the long sides, there's a good chance the carving disc will dig into the corner and remove more material than what's desired. Just take it slow and don't get too comfortable. You may want to wear shoes too. Now sand the surface to smooth it out starting with 60 grit paper and moving up to 220 grit for a finished surface. Now flip the stool on its feet Mark another boundary with the compass set a little wider than before and start in the center of the stool, working your way out. Use a sweeping motion to shape the seat, starting with a light touch to the surface and applying a little more pressure as you reach the center, then lightening up as you finish the motion. Keep doing this on both axes so the sculpting is symmetric. When the seat has reached the depth and width you wanted to sculpt to, switch to a 40 grit sanding flap disc in the angle grinder and give the stool a good one over. I keep the grinder moving quickly, first moving in one direction and then going perpendicular to that and finally diagonally to the first two passes. This removes any high spots from the sculpting step. Lastly, I use the orbital sander sanding with 60 grit paper to clean the surface some more and then finish off with 220 grit. The finishing is simple. I apply a coat of boiled linseed oil, let it cure, give it a good suntan, this is optional as cherry darkens nicely in the sun, and then apply a few coats of wipe on oil based polyurethane. These stools are fantastic to sit on. The large sculpted seat is comfortable and stylish with the laminated through tenons of the legs. A perfect addition to any kitchen or shop. If this is your first time to my channel, I'd like to say welcome and please subscribe. I release a new video every two weeks so you'll be sure not to miss any of those. Also, please like and share this video as it helps me reach more viewers. You can follow me on Instagram, where I post progress photos of my projects each week. Lastly, you can see a detailed article of how I made this bar stool on my website, spongeandworks.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean. See you next time.